What is this? What is this? Uh, this is an anniversary video. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! Woohoo! I've been doing these videos for 15 years. 15 years, ladies and gentlemen. 15 years of video game walkthroughs. Video. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And damn, I reached a milestone. I reached a milestone. Well, I'm doing this on the 21st of April. However, my anniversary is actually tomorrow, the 22nd of April, 2023. Booyah. 15 years, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Just a lot of time has gone by. And at the same time, back when I first started doing these video video walkthroughs of video games I could not show myself it yeah no that was not a thing yet to show yourself while playing a video game you could play a video game you could lend your voice but you could not show yourself nope nope so over time as time went by we certain things happened so things came to fruition not only was i doing video game walkthroughs i was also doing movie reviews that's why right, that's why right. damn 15 years 15 years well let's pan over to something here and what is this this is actually gonna be I am going to be doing something that I've never done before, never ever done. I'm going to be ranking all Super Nintendo JRPGs. Yup, yeah, that has ever been released here. Stuff that's, yeah. And there is one game in particular that's not going to be part of this list, and that's because it was like a West RPG. It was not. It was not a Japanese RPG, and that's Secret of Evermore. That's why. Right. Too bad. Too bad. But everything else here, I will be ranking. So let's go over everything, shall we? Let's go over everything. So. S, ranking S, A, B, C, D, E. So, S is going to be amazing. Just a masterpiece in itself. A is going to be, it's an amazing game, but it has some technical issues. B, which will be for really good. C will be for good D is going to be for it's not exactly good but it's not exact exactly bad like those potential it just like I can I could see the potential in the game and E will be for bad god awful god awful so, as you can tell, I'm going to be ranking all of these JRPGs. That's right. That's right. Okay, so. I, and I've played all of them. I've played all of them. The only system that i played all of the JRPGs that was ever released still, And that's the Super Nintendo. That's right. And I hope to do more of these down the line. So, I have, like, other RPG games that I do have to play. Which were for the PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, and so forth and so forth. I want to play more of them. Because, to tell you the truth, with what has come out, I've only touched base on them. I do. And yet, JRPGs tend to be my most favorite games of all time. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, so... Let's start. Oh yes, and one thing I need to talk about. This was a little bit on the fly. 
I had forgotten that my anniversary was coming up, and I did say to a few people that I work with, because some of them actually do watch my stuff. They do. And they, they actually like my stuff. Some even, some even love my stuff. It depends on your taste and preference for videos. And, uh... What was I talking about? Yeah. So anyhow, I did, I was trying to say something though. Oh yes, I don't have any video game footage, if you will, because this was really more on the fly. Next time when I do this type of a video, PlayStation 1, uh, I will try to get video game footage, if you will. And I should have, should have had a soundtrack in the back. I don't. I'm sorry. Like I said, this is my first time doing this. My first time doing this. I've never done this before. Ever, ever before. So, please bear with me. And this was kind of like on the fly too. So, hopefully in the future when I go to do these type of videos. And I will also be bringing to my channel Top 10s. Top 10s. I've been saying that for forever. That I want to do top 10 video, top 10 videos, uh, top favorite platformers for the Super Nintendo of all time. 10 best uh, JRPGs of all time. Role playing games. Yeah, yeah. Well, JRPG, uh, Japanese role playing games, uh, and other things. Yeah. Anyhow, but now we're gonna get focus, 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 Rob, focus. Let's get to what you were trying to do. Okay, so, first off is Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. Uh, I would have to say it's actually a really, a really good game to, to me personally. I think uh, the, the graphics for its time are actually pretty well done. And probably one of the best things about the game as well as the soundtrack. The graphics and the soundtrack were the were just they they were awesome for the game. They were awesome. But truth be told there are some technical issues with this game. Uh, storyline wise it does have a story and it's a good plot but it does it wasn't done properly. It wasn't done properly. I'm just going to adjust this a little. Hopefully that's better. Yeah, so it wasn't done properly. And the gameplay can be uh, kind of fidgety because it's one of those games where you're targeting one enemy, one group, uh, one enemy, and you're targeting another one, and like... Let's say there's two of one kind of enemy and one of one kind. So you eliminate the two and yet you you got your character to to go after one of those two characters. But oh wait, they're already dead. So what's going to happen to this one? No, nope, it's not going to hit that one. It's just going to be a mess. Yeah. And that's where this game kind of falls flat as well. If they had done it differently yeah plus after every battle if you let's say if you die you don't get a game over screen you don't you get a give up screen give up no yes no yes and it doesn't really go back to your last save place it goes to the battle again you just start the battle over and it's like, oh, come on, really? Really? So, that being said, I would have to... I would have to say this is a really good game. And I'm gonna put it... Under B. For really good. Yeah. Okay, moving on. The seventh saga. The seventh saga. I don't know what it is about this game. 
I just, I just, I feel drawn to it. There are a lot of problems with this game, but at the same time, I'm just, I'm drawn to the game. Because the world aspect of it, you can tell that they really, that they really actually implemented Dungeons and Dragons into the game, kind of. Because you have quite a few characters that you can choose from. And they're different types. One is an alien, one is a knight, another is a wizard, another one is... Like, yeah, no, no. Uh, you can tell that they really took from D&D, Dungeons and Dragons. In this one. For, for like, uh, choosing the characters and everything of the sort. <sighs> Storyline-wise, it's not a good story. I don't... It's not. The gra graphics for its time, it was, it kind of came in the middle of, of the Super Nintendo era and really there were other better RPGs than that. The, the war, the war. So I would have to say, but like I said, uh, and the bad, but the battle system, I have to say the battle system is probably amazingly well done, amazingly well done, and it's like I give them kudos because they actually did a great job with that part. It is, however, a major grind fest, a major grind fest. That is another uh, issue with the game. But at the same time, I'm just, I'm drawn to it. I'm drawn to it. Like something about the game that just wheels me in. So, after talking about everything, I would have to say it's good. And I'm going to put it under C. Yeah, for good. Arcana. What can I say about this game? Well, Arcana was one of my first RPGs I ever played. And I think that's the reason why I'm kind of nostalgic for it. I played two other RPGs before this game. And that was Dragon Warrior, the first one for the NES. Then it was... Then it was... And the other one was... Final Fantasy, the, the original. That's why I, I played those games. And truth be told, coming on to the Super Nintendo, when the Super Nintendo first came out, Arcana was one of the first, one of the first RPGs. Not only one of the first RPGs, but one of the first games ever to be released for the Super Nintendo. As well as Final Fantasy 2, a.k.a. Four. Uh, and what do I think about this? I, a lot of people hate this game, and I actually very much enjoy it. I understand why people have problems with it, but at the same time, I just, I love it. I love it. I, th I think it actually has a very good storyline. Some people might digress on that. I think it has a good plot. It was done very well. Could have been better, but it was still done very well. Uh, what else? The gameplay, uh, the graphics, I would have to say, was actually very good, considering the beginning of the Super Nintendo. It was very good. Gameplay, the this is well. It's kind of because the gameplay. Um, I would have to say the battle system is actually really good, but it is done in a way where you don't really 
see your characters on the screen like you would in a Final Fantasy game, Chrono Trigger game. No. This is where it's kind of like, it's a mix between Final Fantasy and... I forget what it's called. The actual... The actual title. For the NES. A Bald's Tale? A Bald's Quest? Something like that, yeah. In between though, in between those two type of games, Final Fantasy and I'm just gonna call it bald, bald, for like balds, whatever. Uh, and I would have to say, yeah, and a lot of people didn't. The other, the other aspect of the game that a lot of people have problems with is. The exploration in the dungeons because at times it can be tedious trying to figure out where to go, what to do, and if you don't follow a specific path, a specific path that I do, if you don't do that, then yeah, no, you're gonna get lost. You're gonna get lost. Definitely. There's only one, one dungeon where I actually do get lost, and that's the Ice Pyramid. It is a maze in itself. A maze. The other places, if you stick to the white wall, not the left, the white wall, you can actually find your way through with no problems whatsoever. Yeah. And therefore, I actually very much enjoyed this game. I think it's a very good game. And... Well, it does have its problems. I'm going to put it in the A section. A lot of you might be like, eh, yeah, no. Yeah, a lot of you might not agree with, with me, and that's, that's fine, that's fine. But I very much enjoy it. Brandish. I played this game. I hate it. I flat out hate it. I, I saw nothing good about this game. Nothing good. If anything, I would have to say the best thing about the game was the soundtrack. The soundtrack itself. But other than that, I hated the storyline. I hated, I hated the gameplay. I thought it was just garbage. I put it under E. It's that bad. It's that bad. Okay, Breath of Fire 1 and 2. What do I think about these games? I think the the first one, for the Super Nintendo, the first one was the better one. It was. And I think... The, st the story behind it, between light dragons and dark dragons was actually pitch perfect. I thought the storyline was was awesome. It was awesome. Uh, the plot itself was good. It was done amazingly well though. Amaz amazingly well written if if you ask me. The gameplay, I love it to death. I just, I love the gameplay. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. The graphics for its time, awesome. The soundtrack, amazing. Amazing. It's not a masterpiece. You know what? I said Arcana was very good. Why did I put it under A? Should have been under B. I'm sorry, everyone. Very good. Uh, yeah, back to Breath of Fire. It's not a masterpiece. But I would have to say I still love it. I'm going to put it under A. It was great. Just It just has some minor issues with it. Not much. But great game nonetheless. Breath of Fire 2, however. <laughs> This is, a, is another story. Uh, I would have to say the battle system is 
is awesome, it, just like the first one. But it is a major grind fest, and not really for levels, for money. Because it's so hard to get money in this game because everything's just so so expensive uh, in the shops and everything. And I think that's where they majorly screwed up. They majorly screwed up. And... And the storyline... It's not as good as the first one. I've, I've, to me personally, it felt like it was all over the place. I still very much enjoy this storyline for, for what it is. But, tell you the truth... It really is all over the place, and they try to implement uh, a lot more. Uh, how would you call it? Character depth. Yeah, more about the the characters that you're playing. There you go. I forget the the exact word for it, but yeah. That being said, what do I think about it? Oh yeah, graphics, soundtrack, probably the best, probably uh, I would have to say the graphics are great, the soundtrack, not as good as a force, but it's still pretty awesome, the, the soundtrack, it really is. I would have to say it's a very good game. And therefore, I give it a B. Chrono Trigger. Nothing to explain here. Nothing to explain uh, here. The battle system is awesome. You don't have to spend too much time leveling up. The story, just amazing. Amazing. I think the the plot itself is very good. It was amazingly well done. Amazingly well done. And it... The soundtrack, awesome. Just awesome. Graphics for its time and type, again, awesome. Awesome. Now that you complain here, and to me personally, Corner Trigger is... I would consider Corner Trigger as a masterpiece. Masterpiece, and I get, and to me personally, there's no problems with the game whatsoever, and I give the game none other than an S. Hell yeah! Earthbound, another game. Well, I I actually consider this also as a masterpiece. Some people don't like this game. Other people tend to very much enjoy the game, but they wouldn't call it a masterpiece. Well, you see, to me personally, it is an, a masterpiece. I, I I love the story. It's a sci-fi story. The story is so out there, so out there. And I think that is the thing that works best for it. Works best for it. Oh, yeah. And... Like, the best thing about the game is the storyline uh, to it. It's a good sci-fi storyline, but it was done amazingly well. The graphics, for its time and type, it might not be as good as some of the other games that came out around the time. But that being said, it's still beautiful to the eyes. Still beautiful to the eyes. Gameplay, I love the gameplay. I think... I know some people might digress on this because they might be like, no, I don't like the gameplay. It's a bit weird. And I have to agree, it is a bit weird, but I'm able to look past it. It is, I think the battle system is amazing. <sighs> yeah. 
Yeah. And the soundtrack. Oh, the soundtrack. Oh, the soundtrack is just beautiful. Beautiful. And again, I give it an S. Okay. Final Fantasy 2 and 3. AKA 4 and 6. We all know it as 4 and 6 nowadays. But back then, they were released as Final Fantasy 2, Final Fantasy 3. I think everyone knows this by now. Everyone knows this by now. Uh, oh, what the confusion is. But uh, that being said... Believe it or not, I prefer Final Fantasy 4 more than 6. I do. And for one particular reason, one reason alone... Okay, so first of all, I would have to say the storyline. Let's start with uh, with Final Fantasy IV first. I would have to say the storyline probably ha has one of the best. It's probably one of the best things that that goes for it. The storyline. I think the storyline, the plot itself, for most of the game was good. It got very good close to the end, and it. And it was written extremely well, extremely well. The graphics for its time, awesome. Soundtrack, awesome. Now the gameplay. I know some people don't like this this one because you're constantly having to go up levels and you're... Yeah, not to say that it takes a long time. It doesn't, but you're constantly going up levels, like after one or two places, you're going up levels again. Yeah. And, uh, what would I say? And some people, they feel like some of the later places were too big. And to me, personally, it's like, no, no. That's what I love about the game. Because I want to play the game. I want to play the game. I don't want something that that is always storyline and almost no battle systems whatsoever. I prefer having a, a mix of the two. I think it should be... I think it, uh, 4 has a wide amount of storyline. It has a wide amount of gameplay. Because the gameplay should be more than what there is for the story. And it, do and it does that. It does that. And I, and I love the game to death. And to me personally, Final Fantasy IV is... Oh yeah. And this, the, the magic system. Beautiful. Just beautiful. And I think Final Fantasy IV is a true Final Fantasy masterpiece on the Super Nintendo. And I give it... Actually, I, th I, I would say it's a very good game. I'll put it under A. Yeah. Final Fantasy VI. I have some major... Major complaints here. So first of all, I would have to say, best thing about the game, the story. It had a much better storyline than than four did. But that being said, it suffered in so many other ways. So many other ways. I think the plot. Is very good, written amazingly well. Could have been better, but I digress. Just leave it as is, and I'd say, yeah, no, the storyline is actually better than than four. Okay, so now for all of my complaints, yo, soundtrack would be the next best thing about the game. And I would have to say, 
it's great. It actually is. The soundtrack is actually great. It's amazingly well done, but it's not as good as four. I I think four just nailed it with the soundtrack. And six was a little bit of a letdown for me. A little bit of a letdown for me for the soundtrack. And it's not to say that the soundtrack is bad. It's still pretty awesome. Just it wasn't as good. The gameplay. <laughs> this is where I have issues. Okay, first of all. This is one of the only Final Fantasy games where you do not collect experience points from boss fights. And I find that BS. That's BS. Uh, the boss fights are there. The post, the technically battles, so you should be getting experience points for for them. No, they had no right to take that away from the boss fights. No way whatsoever. The gameplay itself in the battle system itself is actually done very good. But there's two other issues with this game. It's harder to run away. So much harder to run away. Because not everyone runs away. Run away. They don't. They, they take turns. They take turns. I really hate that. I really do. And to boot, the other problem that I have with this game is what, what, what? The magic system. And it's not the best on the magic system. I think they did, they actually did a very good job. A very good job. But it was a major letdown to me. For me. From Final Fantasy 4. Final Fantasy 4's magic system. Was probably the best that they had. In a Final Fantasy game. Period. Period. 6. You How do you learn magic? Not from levels. From Esports. And also, okay, so I have the grind for. I have the grind for not only levels, not only for money, but also what? To level up these spells? To to get magic. These magic experience points from battles? Why? Why? You already perfected in for. Why change it? Why change it? It's something that I, I've been hating since 6. And it's been kind of like... And it's decreased for me as it went along. 7 was worse. Was a lot worse than 6. And... And I, I would have to say 6 actually did a very good job with it. Uh, I am sorry that I do have problems with it, but I digress. I still think they did a very good job with the mag magic system. Very easy to understand. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. And six. <laughs> you guys are going to hate me for this. You're, you're going to hate me for this. I would have to say, like I said, not as good as Final Fantasy IV. I would have to say it's a really good RPG, and therefore I give it a B. A B. Illusion of Gaia. Or oh, Illusion of Gaia. I, w I am gonna... Okay, so th there are three games. Actually, four games to this, to this series. EVO, which is not here because... Like many, I don't consider that as as an RPG. It's not. It has RPG elements, but not enough. Not enough to 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 me personally to be considered as an RPG. So th that's why that game is not on the list. But we have three other games here that's part of that. Uh, that's part of that series. Illusion of Gaia, Soul Blazer, and To Enigma. To Enigma was the last one that I ever played of this series. So, let's start with Illusion of Gaia. 
this was the one that came first. And I would have to say, I love this game to bits. Two bits. I think the storyline is actually, it's a good storyline. Done very well. The soundtrack is amazing. 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 The gameplay, I wouldn't have any other way. I love the gameplay. I thought, hey, it's an action RPG. It's not a turn-based RPG. It's an action RPG. Unlike the rest of them so far. Yeah, and I would have to say, I love the battle system. I love it a bit. And I give this none other than an S. To me, it's another masterpiece. Another masterpiece. So Blazor, however, I thought the gameplay was just as good. The storyline was not as good. I thought the storyline was a little bit of a letdown, but it was still... I wouldn't say it's bad. Definitely not bad. I would have to say it was a good storyline. Done pretty well. And the, the soundtrack, amazing. The gameplay. This is Illusion of Gaia. It was actually, uh, it was actually pretty amazing. Yeah. That being said, it doesn't hold up to me as Illusion of Gaia does. And I would have to say... It's, it's very good, very good, and therefore I give it a B. Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars has to be one of my most favorite RPG games of all time, of all time. And I would have to say, I have no comp again, with this one, I have no complaints. I think the story is pretty damn awesome. For the longest time, for the longest time, this was the only game where you could play as Bowser. For the longest time. But now, within the past decade, we've gotten games where you can play as Bowser. Yeah, but before, before that, before the past decade, before the 2010s, you didn't have uh, games where you could play as Bowser. You didn't. So, except for this one. Except for this one. And the fact that you could, it was like, oh my god. This is so great. It's so awesome. You get to play as a Bowser. And it was, this was actually Squirrel and Nintendo. Back when they were together. Uh... I think they're together again, but uh, Squirrel left Nintendo for a while, for a long time, and then they finally came back. But, and Super Mario RPG was one of the last final games for the Super Nintendo. Not the last game, but one of the last games. And I would have to say, yeah, no, it's a great game, great game. Uh, like I said before, nothing you complain about. I think the storyline is awesome. The the soundtrack is awesome. The gameplay is awesome. They deal with timed hits, timed defenses, something that they implemented in this game that was not in other RPGs on the Super Nintendo. No, and I thought that was that was great. That was awesome. It got us to interact more with the game. Oh yes, and therefore. To me, Percy, this is a masterpiece in itself, and I give it an S. Uh, which one is this one? Is that Tecmo? Yeah, that's Tecmo. Tecmo, Secret of the Stars. Oh my god. I like this game, but then again, I don't like this game. I I don't mind the storyline. I think it's a it's decent at best. 
the gameplay, I would have to say, is very good, but it's the fact that you have to go in dungeons in uh, dungeons more than once. You have to go in them twice, if not three times, and it's just so hard to figure out what to do, and I had to use a walkthrough to complete this game. A walkthrough, ladies and gentlemen. It's a love and hate relationship with me, and I would have to say it's kind of bad. I would, yeah. And, but I see the potential. I see the potential that the game had. So, therefore, I'm going to give it a D. A D. Till Enigma was the other game between Illusion of Gaia, Soul Blazor, and this one, and EVO. The Souls for Eden. Uh, Till Enigma. I've played an. I haven't beaten it, but not or finished it yet. But it actually is. I did get quite far in the game. I did get quite far, and from what I've played, I would have to say it's actually a great game, an amazing game. And I would have to say it's probably a bit better than Illusion of Gaia. Oh yes, it's a masterpiece. Another masterpiece. And the storyline, amazingly well done. The gameplay, I fell in love with it the first time I ever played it. Oh yeah. The soundtrack is not as good, but it, it still has a good soundtrack though. It does. Uh, where should I put this? I'm hesitant on putting it in S or A. What? I'll put it in A. Yeah. Mm, a. No, S. S. Final, final, final. Final. Yeah. The Twisted Tales of Spike McFay. I repeat. The Twisted Tales of Spike McFay. <laughs> I have only played this game once and I completed it. I did. But that being said, it's good. Nothing else. Yeah, it's good. The storyline, it tries to have a storyline. It's all white. The gameplay, when you first put when you first put it on, the gameplay is actually very good, but by the end of the game, it get it just gets tedious. Tedious. I see the potential that it had. And I and I would say it's a good game. I'm gonna put it in under C with Seven Saga. Uncharted Waddles. <laughs> I played both of them. You know what I think about both of them? Absolute garbage. A lot of people, a lot of people actually tend seem to like New Horizons, and I can see where they, well, where they would enjoy it, but it's just not for me. And because of that, I find it's garbage. To me personally. That would be Brain Lord. Brain Lord. <laughs> oh god. I hate this game. I flat out hate this game. I played I played it twice. I tried it a second time. I still hate it. I think everything about this game is just god awful. The soundtrack, the gameplay, the storyline, there's absolute garbage. Dragon View. Dragon View. It's a white. The gameplay. Yeah, yeah. This. It's a white. 
the 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 story, the gameplay, everything about it, just a wait. And really, I see the potential. I see I I see the potential. It is though. It could have been better. It could have been good, but it just wasn't. But it's not a bad game. I put it under D. Dragon. God awful. God awful. Just no, 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 no. An Indo. We're the ninja. It's good. But that's it. The gameplay is just good. Nothing special about it. Good. Uh. This story is all right. The move, the dungeons is all right. It, like, it's just, everything is just all right with this game. Good or all right. I would say it's better than D. I'm going to put under C. It's good. That's it. Lagoon. Oh my god. I'll never ever play this game ever again. I see the potential, but still, it's bad. I just, I don't want to talk about this game anymore. I just, no, just no. Luffy Games, Luffy and the Forces of Doom. We're coming to the end here, ladies and gentlemen. We just have a few more. Luffy and the Forces of Doom and Luffy 2, Wise of the Sinistors. Luffy and the Forces of Doom was technically the first one to be released, while Luffy 2 was a prequel to the first. And Luffy 2 came out later. And Luffy 2, again, was not exactly the last game for the Super Nintendo, but it was one of the last games for the Super Nintendo. Uh, Luffy and the Forces of Doom, I would have to say, it's a very good game. I think the... The storyline, it's good. Yeah, it's good. That's it. N nothing great about the storyline. It's just good. The the gameplay. Some people might might hate the gameplay. I, I know some people do because of what it does. It does the same thing that Arcana. No, not Arcana. I'm sorry. Um, Mystic Quest does. Final Fantasy Mystic Quest does. Basically, you're in a battle. Let's say there's two of one guy and there's one of another guy. And and you and you've already programmed someone to hit one of the two guys, but yet the two guys are already gone. They're dead, and there's one person left. They will just hit space and miss, miss, miss. That, to me personally, that's the only problem with the game. Only problem. But I very much enjoy this game. I really do. I have to say it's a really good game. Therefore, I give it a B. I give it a B. Love you too, Wise of the Sinistors. No complaints. No complaints for me. I think it's an amazing RPG. And ladies and gentlemen, this is my most favorite game of all time. Of all time. Love you too. Why is this in the source? I I do have one complaint about the game, but but it's really not much of an issue. Not much of an issue. Uh, but everything else about the game is just amazing. Amazing. Uh, the the storyline plot is very good done amazingly well amazingly well uh, the gameplay just pitch perfect pitch perfect uh, it does a little something in the gameplay itself you you have you don't have to do this but it was an op option it was an optional thing well you find these capsule monsters 
you you level them up, you feed them to you feed them weapons and armors to expand them more into other forms. Yeah, they, they yeah. And I would have to say it's like they took Pokemon and they made it better. They made it much better. And therefore really I'm not really one that actually likes Pokemon. I, some of the, some of the Pokemon games are all right, others flat out garbage. But they took the premise of Pokemon and they made it good. But instead of catching them, you find them in these certain locations. Yeah, that's what it does. And you just you raise them to get better. And really, like I said. They love you too. Probably between Pokemon, Digimon, L and this game, and any other games that has ever done this, love you too. Did it right? Did it right? Did it justice on that aspect? And I actually very much enjoy that aspect in this game. I normally don't like that aspect. This is they did. A, a very good job with it. They did. And it's just a masterpiece. Masterpiece. And I give it none other than an S. Ogle Battle. <laughs> I have played this game. I see the potential. I like it. That's it. It's not a bad game, but at the same time, it's not exactly good. So I'm just going to. Give it a D. Paladin's Quest. Back when I was a kid, my brother played this game a lot. And my brother was like, you're not going to like this game. You're not going to like this game. Well, years later, I finally played this game. And it was like 2006, 2007 when I play first played it. And I actually, fell in, I actually fell in love with it. I wouldn't say it's a masterpiece. I would have to say it's a good game. It's a good game. And yeah, I give it. The storyline is good. The graphics for its time and type is, is actually very good. Very good. The soundtrack is all right. Gameplay is. I really enjoyed the gameplay. I really did. Right now, I'm between a C and a B. Hmm, what do I do? You know what? I'd say it's just as good as Luffy and the Fortress of Doom. In Final Fantasy VI. I, yeah, I'm going to give it a B. It's a really good game. A really good game. World War Trek, like I said before... I don't like Pokemon all that much. Some of the games I find are, are is all right. This is a lot like that, and really, I just did not care for it. Garbage. Secret of Mana. Secret of Mana. Something about this game just draws me in. It just draws me in, and. The, it has a lot of issues. It does have a lot of issues. Especially if you're going at it with just yourself and not friends. That's why right. you can play with friends with this. It's an action RPG. And the storyline, I would have to say, is the plot. It's a white. It was the plot wasn't really all that good. It was just all right. But it was written pre pretty well. Pretty well. Uh, the the graphics for its time, awesome. The gameplay, it's fidgety at best. Fidgety at best. But if you can get over certain aspects of it, because you have three characters, and if you're going at it with just one person, the other two, 
can get majorly, majorly annoying at, like you wouldn't believe as you're trying to move around. Soundtrack would have to be the best thing about this game. It was awesome. Awesome, awesome. Where would I put this? Let me see. I would have to give it a B. Yeah. I would have to say it's it's a really good game. It's a really good game. Super Ninja Boy. I don't like this game. I really don't. Uh, but I did see the potential in it. So it's not exactly... I wouldn't rate it under E as bad. I'm just going to put it D and leave it at that. Wise 3. One was from Wise. A lot of people tell me that the Genesis version is much better. Uh, what was on as well? PC Engine, I think? Yeah. And they, and they said that was even better. But this was the only version that I have played, ladies and gentlemen. The only version I have played. And I actually very much enjoyed it. Very much enjoyed it. I think... I fell in love with the storyline. I think the storyline is actually good. Done very well. Maybe not a masterpiece, but it was done very well. The gameplay... There are some issues. Like, uh... It's loose. That's what I have to say about it. It's loose. But that's my only complaint about the gameplay. Other than that, I think... Is actually the gameplay besides besides it being loose. I think that the hit weight is actually very good. Yeah. So what would I say? Where would I put this? I would have to say it's really good. Yeah. I'll put it on door. B. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff, ladies and gentlemen. So that's it. That's my that's my entire list. Wow. That took a lot longer than what I thought. <laughs> oh yeah. And we're gonna be I'm gonna be doing the PS1 eventually, the PS1. Uh, when I'm when I finally uh, played all of them. Yeah. Like I said, compared to how many are out there, I've barely scratched the surface. I've barely scratched the surface uh, with RPGs. Oh yeah, definitely. And I, I want to play more, a lot more. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Hey! My 15th anniversary, ladies and gentlemen. Awesome stuff. I hope you guys have enjoyed this and stay tuned for more videos to come, quite possibly top 10s in the near future. Bye!